Hey kiddos, next two here, and welcome to Heartworm. Uh, this is the seventh game in the demo disc series, I'm pretty sure. Seventh or sixth. And uh, I like this intro music, it is very calm. It kind of reminds me of Minecraft in some odd reason. But anyways, Heartworm. Oh, game almost for ugh, broke on me. What the? Oh, okay. It's one that it's this kind of a game again. We play as the lady and the uh, horrible game controls. I'm not hungry. Okay. You look like Laura Croft. Oh, that move is backwards. It's weird. My TV and VCR. I don't really feel like watching anything right now. If you say so. Got a letter on the table, though. We can't look at that? Okay. What's over there? We got papers. Clinic. Cl uh, evaluation. <laughs> Sam, redacted, 23 year old female, average height, weight, no relevant medical history. Patient reported insomnia, re reoccurring intrusive thoughts related to self harm, harm to others, low self esteem, obsessive tendencies, episodes of panic, and high baseline anxiety 7 of 10 patient described these symptoms as chronic and varying in severity possibly possibly related to traumatic events from childhood patient also mentioned social relationship suffering as a result of symptoms whoops observation preliminary lab labs returned normal heart rate and blood pressure evaluated patient avoided eye contact and appeared anxious she only spoke when when queried patient appeared detached preoccupied with thoughts assessment the following diagnosis are based on currently available information and may change as additional information becomes available post-traumatic stress disorder obs obsessive compulsive disorder anxiety disorder un unspecified major depressive disorder recurrent moderate panic disorder generalized anxiety disorder Jeez. plan need to gather more information pa Shouldn't refer to as psychiatric for further evaluation and urge to follow up a clinic in seven days. Patient encouraged to research exposure therapy. Oh. Okay. Well, I like when that happens. Are we talking about this girl right here, or is my character like the one who got these notes? Oh, well, just walked on my bed. So that's a thing. But, uh, is it me who's like that? Is there a tattoo on my leg? What was that? Yeah, I do have a tattoo on my leg. That's a cool-looking tattoo. It just looks like a paint stain, but we're gonna ignore that. Boink. I picked up the VHS tape. And now we go to the VHS player and we play it. Right? Right. These controls, I don't like them. I put the tape in. Let's see what's on it. Okay. watching it and the screen is black still oh is it gonna be something weird it's definitely gonna be something weird we're getting really close to the screen and I'm worried there's gonna be a jump scare now oh we went in the screen now there's rain oh are we in the dream now wow my game my computer doesn't like this. It's not enjoying the rain right now. We go into this house over here. Oh. Do you remember? Do I remember what, yo? Can I interact with that? What do I remember? Do you remember? Yeah, I don't know what you want me to remember, but definitely isn't working. Guess we go in this house now. Since that seems to be the only thing available. Hello? It's locked from the out other side. So do we go... Is there a back entrance? Usually these kind of horror houses have a back entrance. Can I look in the windows, I wonder? Nope, can't. There is a back entrance, though. Oh, I can see inside of it. It's open. 
Wait, where did I hear that open door sound? That open door sound sounds really familiar, and I don't like how familiar that was. What game is it from? I can't I can't think of it. It's definitely a game I played on my series or my channel, I think. Oh! It's from uh the final station, that's what that sounds from. Sorry I need a water break right there. But uh I'm glad I remembered that specific sound effect for no reason. Um It's a dinner table, but there's no dinner or table. That didn't make sense. There's no people here. Oh but there is a TV. The TV won't turn off. There's a VHS player. There's not a tape in it. Oh, is that what the game's gonna be about? I just find tapes and keep watching TV. Is that a tape on the table right there? God, if only these controls worked. Nothing particularly interesting. Okay, guess that isn't. Nothing particularly interesting. I'll go this way then. Why is this why is this room specifically doing this? Hallucination as tra as trauma based memory implications for psychological interventions. Routine information processing involves a proceed process called contextual integration, whereby detailed encoding of incoming stimuli takes place when facils which facilitates later memory recall. For example, being able to remember who was at your birthday by recalling a full contextual image of the event. Also, being able to remember what happened before and after a specific event due to the integration of relevant temporal information. However, during a traumatic event, the need for a quick behavioral response requires a rapid information processing. This is achieved through a temporary decrease in the contextual integration and a quick response based on basic perceptual processing. The provision of a rapid response to danger has the consequence of a vulnerability to experiencing intrusive memories of the stressful event at a future date. The reduced contextual processing of the trauma stimuli makes them difficult to recall on a voluntary basis due to the lack of integration with cues which, with cues which normally facilitates recall. However, the information is typically triggered involuntarily by stimuli which have a perceptual match to some aspect of the traumatic event. Example, a sound or visual stimuli that invokes a memory of the event. Whoops. Uh, therefore, within these theories, reduced levels of contextual integration are considered central to the development of trauma-related intrusive memories. Thereafter, the intrusions may be maintained through a number of cognitive and behavioral processes, such as avoidance in order to develop a presentation of the, PS of the PTSD, however, in order to be diagnosed with PTSD, the individual or the clinician, or the clinician is likely to be confident that the intrusions are in fact memory of a stressful event. A number of pages are destroyed. In summary, the relationship between hearing voices, seeing visions, and traumatic events continues to intrigue clinical researchers. However, full theoretical understanding remains elusive. The subgroup of voices and visions which are directly linked to stressful events are likely to be responsive to interventions which are based on well-developed theoretical understanding and re of reaction to trauma. So that just completely explained PTSD. Cool. Can I not pick that up I picked up the key okay I can is there a reason why I have a view of this painting like this no surprise here okay what about the bookshelf one of them is missing it's probably the one that's uh I don't actually know is this door the one I need a key for I unlocked it okay so that was the front door key Either that that was the front door key. Small key labeled Reed's Garage. Okay, well, now I know where that goes. Why am I just in someone's house? That's what I want to know. Also, where'd they garage at? What? The stairs are completely blocked off. Cool. I guess we have to go to the garage now, which is probably a completely separate place to the main building. So I'm gonna assume it's either over here. No, nope, there's something red over there. So then it's over here. Yeah, that's probably the garage. 
a weird detached garage to have. The opening is too small to crawl through. Or you could just use the key like a normal human. Oh, there's a lot of VHS tapes. Like, a lot. And I can't pick those up or look at them. Nars Narcissus and Goldmund, Herman Hesse. He thought that all men trickled away, changing constantly until they finally dissolved, while the artist created images remaining unchangeably the same. He thought that the fear of death was perhaps the root of all art, perhaps also perhaps also of all things in the mind. We fear death, we shudder at life's instability, we grieve to see the flowers wilt again and again, and the leaves fall, and in our hearts we know that we too are transitioning are transitory and will search for laws and formulate thoughts. It is in order to salvage something from the great dance of death, to make something that lasts longer than we do. Perhaps the woman after whom the master shaped his beautiful Madonna is already wilted or dead, and soon he too will be dead. Others will live in his house and eat at his table, but his work will still be standing hundreds of years from now and longer. It will go on shimmering to in the quiet cloister church, unchangingly beautiful, forever smiling with the same sad flowering mouth. What's with all the tapes though? That didn't explain the tapes. And for some reason my character doesn't care to investigate these. So what's with this music in this room? Oh, oh I'm up here now. I'm just not discussing the tapes. So really just to come in here and read that and that's it. That was pretty, it's a pretty good use of my time. I do notice that there is an upper floor, and now I kind of want to go back in. But, uh, how the hell do I get to it? Yeah, there appears to be a book up there. But, uh, it doesn't look like there's a normal way to get up there. How did I get up here the first time? Oh. Uh, what? I can't even see where my character's looking right now. What the hell is happening, man? Do I push this? Is that what they want? Oh, that's what they want. I flipped the switch. I just flipped the switch. That's a very normal kind of thing to have in your house. I have it in mine. Okay, so now that I've found the secret upstairs, I take the book. I picked up, well, I didn't see what I picked up, but I picked it up. Fake red book. Oh, it's a puzzle kind of thing. I gotta go put the book in the bookshelf that it was missing from. And then when I do that, something else is gonna happen, and then I go there and that, and blah blah blah. Where's the scary, though? Go back. Actually, what am I doing? Uh, I could just go through the front door, because now that's open. Oh, we go in this room. We go over here place the fake book in the empty space. There's a kitchen? Also, what the hell? I didn't even know that there was a kitchen. Somehow, it just I just didn't see that there was a kitchen. Oh wait, yes I did. I entered through it. I just didn't really acknowledge it. Okay, well now I go here. What's this? I like, don't get that. But whatever. Well, this room looks fun. Just another basement filled with uh, VHS tapes. So that's cool. Can I see what's back here? Okay, guess I cannot. 
It's over here. Just no music. That's how we're doing it now. What am I pushing and why is it being pushed? Why am I pushing that? Um, how did I push that? I can't see where I'm going. Let's just put this just as far back as I can, because that's in the way. Is there something obvious I'm supposed to be looking for here? Uh, I mean, there's this. But I'm pretty sure this is the way out. Oh, this is definitely not way out. I don't recall this. Letter from T. Sam, I tried calling you, but your phone is disconnected and they didn't know what else to do. Everyone is worried. Your boss called mom and said you stopped showing up. I called Jane, but she said she's not talking to you anymore. I know I have I know I haven't always been there for you, but if you need anything I want to help. What's going on with you? Is this about what happened? It was ten years ago, Sam. It's not your fault. You can't hang on to this forever. I love you. Please call me T. Okay, so it definitely is about my character. There's an elevator? Whose house is this? This place is crazy. You know what kind of electricity bills and stuff you gotta have to keep all these rooms and mechanics and all that in your house? Oh yes, the endless hallway. That's a normal addition to my house. Oh, is that a table in the middle of nothingness? Yup. I like to have this in my house too. Makes sense. It's a TV. Oh, ooh, that's me. What you doing, me? I can't move. Nor can I stop whatever is about to happen from happening. Is that that we're gonna end it? Yeah, it is. Do you remember the first time you realized that one day you were going to die? Listen, man, I don't need to hear Do that right now. Do you remember the way that fear went through you? Like electricity? I really... Consumed your thoughts. I really don't need to hear this the right now. Please stop. Do you remember that day? Yeah, I do. I don't like it. Don't worry. I don't mind you. Please stop. To be continued? Okay. Is the game gonna crash? Because I'm ready for that to happen if it's about to happen. Oh, it didn't crash. Wow. That is surprising. Um, this is Heartworm. Don't think there's any other endings. It's a to be continued. But uh, Sam seems to be going through some serious stuff right now. So, I feel bad for her. Uh, I don't really know what it means. You know what? Good luck, Sam. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. In the next episode, we'll see what the next game's about. Bye, guys.